Ruth, and my brand is Streets Ahead. The name Streets Ahead is kind of like a South African saying, which means like ahead of the pack. What our brand name is really saying that like we set trends, we're here to like start trends, not really like follow what's going on, but kind of like leading in fashion. So yeah, that's where the name uh, Streets Ahead came from. So uh, my parents are South African. I was born in Los Angeles, California. Uh, my parents very much came over here for, you know, like American dream right after the apartheid, all that going on. So Streets Ahead actually started about 40 years ago. So my dad originally started the company. Uh, it is a family business. It's me, my mom, my dad. When he started it, like in the 80s, I believe, like belts were just such a big thing. There was like rock and roll and like a lot of leather. He came over from South Africa and kind of just started making these like leather goods, leather belts, and it kind of took off from there. And slowly he built this company. And as I got older, I was always a very artsy person. I always did like different mediums of art. I would go to the factory. They'd give me like belts to paint with nail polish, like things like that. And I just loved it. Like we grew up there. And then when I got older, I ended up, I went, did my four-year degree, went to fit them to kind of like see if this was something I wanted to do. And I started going to the factory with my dad and he kind of taught me everything that I knew of designing. So like what feather edge belts were, what piping was, what trims were, how you could, you know, different types of belts, drop waist belts, like all different things like that and how the process of designing works. So it's kind of unconventional the way we do it. Like we don't do sketching and like the whole, you know, that process. We kind of go in there to our warehouse. It's very arts and craftsy, very hands-on. We put, we pick everything. We like visualize how we want it to look. And that's kind of how we get our line together. When Streets Ahead was initially started, it was very behind the scenes. So predominantly wholesale. My parents were never like, didn't really like being out there you know it's very like behind the scenes did a lot of private label just very good quality stuff and they loved like doing what they did but they didn't like being branded when i came in you know like in today's world and like how everything is you kind of have to be a brand they want to have a name they want to know the story behind it behind the company um so in the last few years i've really been trying to kind of rebrand streets ahead a bit because Everybody that knew Streets Ahead, you know, are now like a much older generation. So I really wanted to bring it to like my generation, everyone, you know, that's like really interested now in um, really good quality fashion. Like we're not about fast fashion or anything like that. And I think like my age group is really starting to acknowledge like the goodness behind quality um, accessories and clothing and things like that. Um, they're willing to spend money on it and invest in like quality items. So I decided that, you know, like rebranding Streets Ahead, bringing it to like a little bit of a younger demographic, putting our name out there could be really good for us. So we kind of, since I've come in, we've like made that switch a bit. We still do a lot of wholesale, have all our boutiques and, you know, things like that. But it has been a really cool and interesting process to see that like we can be our own brand as well. And people are coming to us and like now we're known for these like really cool statement belts. And yeah, it's been like a really cool process to see that kind of pan out. So this collection um, that I'm presenting on the runway is very much like a spin almost on vintage streets ahead because it's been around for so long. We are known for these very like, you know, like heavy metal, cool hardware, very intricate buckles, things like that. Um, I kind of pulled from our archives like in the 90s and like late 80s styles that I thought would kind of like come back in, you know, fashion always like going around in circles and use that as a lot of inspiration for this collection. Um, along with that, you know, it's very much like my style. I like a lot of like um, blacks and browns, kind of a pop of color with burgundy, big buckles. It kind of ranges from 
little bit eclectic to also like modern, uh, which is a little bit like me because I can go totally both ways. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's I'm always pulling inspiration from around me as well, like um, just what I see out there, you know, like my environment, things that are trending, and you know. So for like the last um, maybe like five or six years, I've pretty much been designing everything for Streets Ahead. Advice I would give to someone that is looking to, you know, start their brand. Honestly, just trial and error. You really just got to like stick with what you believe in. Stay true to yourself. Your designs, like it's always really nerve wracking thinking like there could be someone better than me out there. Like, is anyone going to like this? But I feel like most of the time you're pleasantly surprised when you stay true to who you are and um, other people will like feel the same way you do about your um, product.